Hey folks, look at this. I got my old Gigabyte box back. <laughs> well, this is some stuff from Rogue Geek. This is something he's been meaning to send me for quite a while. And uh, I'm glad it's finally here. So let's dig into this thing. Let's not wait any longer. Yes, folks. We have goodies here. First, let's start with the most obvious thing. It's a computer. This is a type of computer I've been wanting for a long time. As you can see, it's in a bit of rough shape cosmetically, but it works. It is a Gateway 2000 486 machine. I've been wanting a 486 machine for a long time, and now I finally have one. Which is pretty cool if you ask me. That's a blank button. has a floppy drive in it. has a tape drive that is very, very dusty on the inside. has an HP uh, CDRW drive, funny enough. And, oh yeah, that's a, that's a real power button. Yep. The only thing this thing could use really is a five and a quarter inch drive where that tape drive is now. Uh, but I can supply that. I have a drive for it that will work. So, that tape drive I might stick in another machine. Perhaps my Windows 98 machine. I haven't decided yet. I don't even have tapes to test it. So, that, that's a project for another day. Now, I got bonus stuff on top of the computer. I got what looks like a microphone. One of those old-fashioned uh, desktop microphones. Now, this could be useful on both modern and vintage PCs, actually. So... This is a very versatile, useful one. Thank you very much, Road Geek. And one of the most awesome ones of all, one I did not expect. A fast, a Packard Bell fast media remote. Check that out. That's awesome. That's really cool. I'll have to experiment with this and see what it does. Perhaps I'll make a video on it sometime in the future once I figure the whole thing out. What's it come with? It comes with the IR sensor, of course. Which plugs in via serial port, so you can tell that's pretty old. Yep. Really cool stuff. Thank you so much, Road Geek. Now when you look at the back of this machine, it's pretty nice. It's a 486. But it was manufactured in 1995, so it's a later model of a 486 computer. Looks like it has a stand. This is what I like about this machine. It has a standard power supply. Most of all, it's standard. It has a very dusty fan in there. Uh, so you get PS2 ports, you get two serial ports, you get a parallel port, and you get a VGA port for uh, your monitor for the onboard video. I wonder how good the onboard video is. Hopefully it's good enough for some DOS games. All right, and as you can see, there is no sound card installed. That will be remedied at some point. So, let's open the machine up and check it out. There is something very wrong with this gateway. Think you can tell what it is? I wonder this creepy guy's face. There's all this dust and Grime and dirt. Look at all that. It's disgusting in here. It needs an absolute blowout. It's absolutely nasty in here. They say a Gateway 2000 is an investment in your future. But that investment must have been made a long time ago. <laughs> so this, this machine's filthy. I'm going to have to take it outside and blow it out with my vacuum. Uh, before I uh, put a sound card in it or anything else. So I'm going to go do that real quick. Let's begin.
Wow, what an improvement that was. Look at that. Beautiful. Now that the gateway doesn't have dust in it anymore, let's uh, let's give it a fantastic cleaning, shall we? Hoo, 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 hoo. This is what I used to clean computers, guys. Paper towels and fantastic. Any ammonia-based cleaner seems to work pretty well. But let's see what an improvement I can make to not only but to at least the top cover and some of the front as well. So, yeah. A little bit of elbow grease later. What a difference. Oh, so much better. I can see the finish on this, but it's like a... Yeah. That's so much better than it was. So is the front, too. It's much nicer. The DVD drive, or the, the CD drive was pretty disgusting. So, that's been, that's been cleaned up and fixed. The machine still looks pretty scuffed up. Has some marks on it and stuff like that, but I'm really not worried about it. Uh, just yet so it's all clean and ready to go so let's go upstairs and boot it up and see what she does remember in an older video how I took this sound blaster all 32 it's an all 32 but it's doesn't really have the all 32 features but anyway I took the sound blaster card out of my Packard Bell and I told you guys it would be for a very good reason I replaced it with the stock Packard Bell sound card this is why I uh, uh, took the card out, because this card is more period correct and makes more sense in this machine than it does in the Packard Bell. Considering this Gateway 2000 is going to be a DOS powerhouse for DOS games and other stuff, this is exactly where this card belongs. So, let's take our sound card. And, uh... Oh, there's a slot cover in the way. Well, we'll take it and put it in there. And now this machine has a sound card in it. I put it in the top slot because the wires and RAM down here got in the way. So, this machine could use some more slot covers, but I don't have enough to fill them. So, I'll buy some on eBay or something and just fill the slots up with slot covers. And there you go. So, there we go. Now it has a sound card installed. Of course, the drivers aren't there, so... We probably won't get sound unless it has built-in Sound Blaster 16 drivers or something. But there you go. This machine appears to have a Western Digital hard drive in it, a Caviar 2340. Uh, 2195. Looks like the original drive, too. And it uses IDE that's built into the motherboard. So I could hook up a CF card adapter to this eventually, which I do plan to do with most of my vintage machines so I can back them up easily. But for now, I'm going to keep this one a hard drive because uh, I just don't feel like messing with it. I want to just boot it up and try it out and use it. Plus, this computer probably won't get used much along with the Packard Bell until I can get a future project done, uh, which I think you guys will enjoy once I get to it. But, yep, put a sound card in the Gateway 2000, so let me button it back up and we'll test it out. The Gateway has completed my trifecta of awesome. Just look at this. Really nice classic machines all in a row like this. Well, in a column, I guess, because it's vertical. But here I have a Packard Bell, a Gateway 2000, and a Compact Desk Pro EN. This will eventually be part of another project, this whole setup here. So, that's going to be cool. But here, we're, we're about to start up the Gateway and take a look at it. I have my Compact Cherry switch keyboard hooked up along with this uh, trackball. So let's check it out. There it goes. There it goes. 46DX2, 66 megahertz. Looks like it has 12 megs of RAM. Excellent. Oh, it has high mem installed. Cool. Hard drive light seems to be functional. And here we are at DOS. So let's check it out. There you go. Samsung. I wonder what that is. <laughs> 
Looks like it has Office installed. Well, all some other stuff. Let's see what MSD has to say. All right, here we go. Tis a tis a 486DX2, which is the most desirable 486 chip. Looks like it has 640K of conventional memory and 12 megs of extra memory. Serious Logic Video has no networking. It has MS DOS 622 on it. Logitech PS2 mouse that would be my trackball. <laughs> Game adapter that is part of the Sound Blaster card. Disk drives. I wonder if the like, the tape drive is plugged in. I saw the light go off. So cool. Two COM ports, one LPT port. Windows 3.11 1 for work groups is installed. There you go. Press F3 to quit. Okay. Let's start Windows and check it out. See if there's anything good on here. Windows 3.11 for work groups. Awesome stuff. This was the first Windows I ever used. Oh, wow. That cow. <laughs> I'm a cow. I'm a cow. They're cows in space. I guess that's 90s. Check out Program Manager here. What's on here? Microsoft Office is. Let's see what version of Word this is. Word 6.0. There you go. Don't show tips at startup. They're annoying. But cool. Word's on here. So you can use this as a fully functional word processor. I just need an LPT printer. And I'm good to go. So let me quit that. PowerPoint's on here. What's Excel look like from back then? Excel version 5. Hey, if you're converting from Lotus 123, <laughs> how cool is that? Yep, Excel hasn't changed much at all. What about PowerPoint? Version 4. Wow, it was actually licensed to me too. What's the quick preview? I guess that's just a quick preview. Whatever that is. Well, either way, it's PowerPoint. So that's pretty cool. Blank presentation. Let's see how much has changed. Let's, let's do a graph. Yep. Same basic interface. That's pretty cool. Obviously, the newer interfaces have changed a little bit, but... Uh, what kind of games are on here? Solitaire, Minesweeper, and Hearts. I need to put the Entertainment Pack on here, I think. 3.1 is not a version of Windows I am familiar with at all, so... I may look like a total idiot looking at all this going, Ooh, what's that? Ugh. So... Yeah, pretty bare bones install of Windows 3.1. Oops, I don't want to do that. Let me just close it. Yeah, there you go. That is the Gateway 2000. I am definitely glad to get this machine after waiting years to get one of these. Not for this specific one, but to get one at all. Uh, it took a long time. I almost had one at one point, but I just missed the opportunity. Luckily, I have awesome friends, so this happened. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you have it, folks. That is a Gateway 2000 for 486DX2 machine. 486DX266, I should say. Obviously, I'm going to mess with this machine and change things around a little bit from what the configuration is now. So, I'll make update videos when that happens uh, eventually. So, there will be future projects involving all of these machines. But I'm glad to finally complete the trifecta. Compact Desk Pro EN, Gateway 2000 as the 486 machine, and the Packer Bell Legend 3540 as the uh, Pentium machine. There's also my Windows 98 box. But that's a separate, that's a completely separate even looking computer in all of these. So, yeah. There you have it, folks. Thank you so very much, Road Geek, for this gift. This, this, this thing is great. Cleaned up really well. It runs, as you can see, 
and it will be enjoyed for as long as it lives with DOS games. So this is going to be a fun machine to use. Anyhow, that is it for today. So I think I will exit Windows. And turn this machine off for now. And that's it for this video. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.